Core Assembly now, I'm Max, I play guitar. I'm Gavin, I use my voice to make notes. I'm Howard, I play the bass and Lush plays drums and he's not here. He's not here, he's having supper. Our drummer's a metal monkey. <laughs> a math metal monkey. He likes math call, whatever that is. <laughs> He, he likes me, really Phil Collins, <laughs> yeah. Cindy Lauper, I like Slipknot, and like really heavy, really heavy bands I've never heard of. And yeah. This band that do like one chord change every 15 minutes, Sono, I think. Sono, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. But <laughs> it's, it's, it, uh, he can't defend himself, so I can say what I want, because he's not here. Uh, yeah, his face so he doesn't make notes, he makes sounds. <laughs> drum sounds. Yeah, he's a name melody in his... He's yeah. a better guitarist than all of But I like, I, like, I like new music, I like everything, but... He listens Everyone's to there. everything. Like he lists, you, if you want to know what's cool, he'll tell you. I listen to old country and folk a lot. Oh, folk, that's such a dirty word now, isn't it? Mm, it's just yeah, don't take that <laughs> Old country, let's just stick with that. I listen to that kind of stuff, I love that. And don't know what Jeff had to do. <laughs> <laughs> I love Bjork. I still got a Bjork. A lot album. of indie bands, like real art bands, like, art bands, but like, bands like Pavement. He loves Pavement. You know, they stumble games? along for like 20 years, like Flame and Lips, and others. You know, just cat like Wilco as well. Love television, that. love television. Echo and the Bunny Man. To a degree. Not much. Bruce Springsteen. No. <laughs> like, oh, and Lush, the drama, he really likes Queen. Yeah, he would be. He does. He right. loves Freddie Mercury. And he doesn't think I Micah. That's why he wanted like to be in a band, because of Freddie Mercury. He doesn't think Micah sounds at all like. No, he, he doesn't he like. hates that. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you really say that? Because if I said that, I wouldn't. We would make the geek. The machine is is whirring away. <laughs> Interviews, yeah. gigs, <laughs> radio things. <laughs> Sleeping and eating well to prepare. No, it's exciting. Grass Maps and Trees comes out on Kids, which is a cool little indie label who do stuff with the likes of the Wombats and stuff. Yeah, yeah. they've like been it. really good to us. Yeah, we did a couple of weeks with the Wombats, which is great. Yeah, it's always it's nice great. to play to people. We did the Vice Tour <laughs> with Noisettes and good books. Did the Vice Tour. Yeah, Noisettes and good, good books. Very good, we had fun. But the Wombats were good because Murph, the lead singer's hair, is a bit of a state. And I often found just before going on stage, just looking at him would make me feel better about him. <laughs> I um, can't say that. Thing is though, they've got really good songs, so... <laughs> and they're all really nice. Made, they're and they're really all nice. friends of ours, so... And we're doing really well now. So... <laughs> and they're... Yeah, so that didn't make me feel nice, but... Love them anyway. Amazing yeah, we love guys. Them. Brilliant guys. Yeah. Good tour. Why well, are we talking about the Wombats? It's our... <laughs> it's our what are we called? Assembly now. now. Good stuff. <laughs> what was the, the general idea? There we was... wanted the animals in it. That was... Because yeah. some first. of the lyrics, so we wanted to... Yeah. Yeah. We went through a few directors on that one. Just people not wanting to use animals, not wanting to work with animals. <laughs> well, we were, yeah. yeah. Animals. And, and, uh, and yeah, James went for plastic ones. James, yeah, James, our director, James Appleton. Very good. Very, very good. Went for plastic animals and we loved that. It was based around, it was based around the idea of Rousseau, some of his jungle paintings and just that. Because animals are mentioned in the song, we just thought, ah, oh, let's do it playfully, let's kind of get Rousseau and the Mighty Bush and, and do that. And not, so, really, not too serious. Not too serious, so no. a bit fun. So we stood in front of a green screen for a day and James made us pet imaginary lines and jump on kick clouds. something. Jump on clouds. Jump, yeah, jumping on clouds was the best. <laughs> that was my favourite one. Yeah, I looked really bad at the end. You, yeah, you didn't move on the cloud, did you? You didn't really go with the flag. I don't think I came with a cloud when I did it. No. Yeah, it was good though, the first video. And it was done on a very limited budget, but I think it looks great. A lot of bands spend a lot of money on videos and in a really geeky way, I got into um, this summer, just gone, oh, well, it's about a year ago now, isn't it, this summer, but um, just walking, just walking the South Bank, and uh, it's kind of about adventures down in the South Bank. It's a cool place to walk if you've got nothing else to do, or no money to go anywhere or do anything else. Yeah, just, I love London, but it can be hard as well. I mean, it's quite... Tell you, you tour up and down the country, and you get applause and warmth from most places and London is the hardest to, to get that kind of... Because yeah. there's so many bands coming it's through and there's so many you... scenes changing. And I find it hard to keep up with all the bands so I just almost just don't take an interest anymore. I haven't listened to music for a year and a half. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lie. No, new music is quite hard, especially bands that you kind of, up, not up against, but new bands that are coming through. I find the best way is just to ignore it and just get on with it, otherwise you think about it too much. And I think we put on a pretty good show live and on record, that, that kind of energy comes across. Yeah, I think when we started writing music, it was 
I don't know, you know how the Strokes broke everything in 2000 with a very nonchalant, very stylistic thing. What followed that was a lot of bands thinking that they could do that and just, I guess, going for, for style over substance and, and thinking it's cool to kind of be, just kind of fuck off to everything. And I think, I don't know, we wear our hearts a little bit more in our sleeves than that. And we want to, you know, want to make music that's a little bit more powerful. That makes sense. A bit more timeless, maybe. Yeah. But shelf life over two years. When we say timeless, just not like, yeah. Like, <laughs> it's never no. going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> For all the time. That's real time. It's always going to be good. For all the time. <laughs> Did you hear about them sending Blur song into space? No, we've been going, yeah, we should have. Why not we us? Gone into space. Why not? Which Blur song was it? Did they make a special space song? Yeah. Universal, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Universal. Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's got its ups and downs. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, you don't know what's going to happen. Like, you can play to 100 people in Southampton yeah. on Sunday. Bomb. First, first day, you can play to five people. In Wolverhampton? In Wolverhampton. Gone. But some, it's nice to go back to the places we played. We played Moles once before, so we know that, that Lush is going to be somewhere on the stage we have never yeah. seen him. Our and van uh, is a torture mobile. Yeah. Kills our backs. Hurts us bad. Time. <laughs> it's horrible. It's, the van is unbelievable. So that shit. We've got it's his cool. shower radio at the moment, and it's crap. <laughs> So you just lose his reception. I've got this amazing radio that you can have in the shower and you can lather yourself silly and with the, with, with the radio. It's got lime scale all over it. It's made of sponge. <coughs> so we listen to XFM for about a second and then turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> and then turn it on. <laughs> who who was playing to, when we turned it off? Suburban Nights. I think tell you who Suburban Nights. That's uh, Hard Fight. Off. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Touring's okay. It's, it's not glamorous though. It's definitely not glamorous. Touring is not glamorous. Until you get the, the private jets. Which we haven't done, so we don't know. That might still be shit. Could still be shit. You know. read Kings Leon say something like, oh, this time, this tour around, we want it just to be comfortable. And you're like, yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I know what you're saying. Mm -hmm. we, that's how we can see that in the distance somewhere. Being comfortable one day. One day. I've only really, so, really been properly gigging since this year. Though. It's mm. about, a, about a year proper, I reckon. Mm. Yeah, yeah, actual touring and doing yeah, what you're supposed band, to do. Not we would, yeah, we, before we were just... See, but I think that counts. Like, I Early think stuff. from the inception counts. But, it sounds better. Should we say that it's been a year? <laughs> because that sounds better than two. Because then we've done it a lot more in a shorter time. <laughs> we've one, been, year. one year. One <laughs> year. Just the one. <laughs> no, we just play G and then see what goes good with G. Yeah. <laughs> if D goes well, that's pretty sweet. And then if Gavin can sing on it, oh, that's a song. <laughs> Yeah, that's how it goes. Maybe we would have got further if we'd think more about Maybe it. Maybe we'd have done G-sus-7. <laughs> if we'd learn that one, we had G-7, I think. Yeah. We've got a lot of songs, and I'd love to <laughs> put an album on. <laughs> Hopefully the world. <laughs> we will soon be signed, and you'll be able to watch us everywhere. Because we have a lot it's of songs. a massive record label will put us everywhere. Because <laughs> that's how it works. <laughs> if not, yes. I'll see you in C4. Is that you? Fucking <laughs> <Okay, Frank. laughs> <laughs> No, you can't, we're in an interview. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah. It's good stuff. There we go.